Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to discuss a topic called exchange rate. Now exchange rate only comes into play when we are talking about countries individual currencies. Every country will have its own currency. Of course they need to trade. That is money. Money is needed to buy and buy things in exchange buy pay in, in exchange for things. So you need money to survive and of course to buy things you need the currency in that country. However if you want to buy things from abroad, if I'm living in somewhere in Europe and I want to buy something from the US, then of course I will need to pay the bar the sellers in US in the US currency, not in the European currency, which means I'll have to pay in the US dollars, not in euros. So I'll have to first figure out how many euros do I need to get X number of dollars. That's what the exchange rate will tell us. Then how much of one currency do you give up? in order to gain X amount of currency of another country. That is what exchange rate is. The price of one currency expressed in terms of another, for example, one pound may be equal to one point two six dollars or whatever the prevalent rate is these days. Now this is something you guys would have commonly come across when you travel abroad. Of course, when you need currency another country where you're traveling to you would go to your local money changer and that's where you will see this little uh, table up on the wall where they would tell you how much US dollar would cost and how much of your own currency you would have to give up similarly for euros pound and Japanese yen so this is something that's familiar to us whenever we travel abroad and we also know that in order to buy things over there we'll have to pay in that currencies in that country's home currency Now, the exchange rate is a very good indicator to figure out how well the businesses of one country are doing against the rest of the businesses around the world. So it's a good way to measure the global competitiveness of your local businesses. And we can figure that out by looking at the movement of the exchange rate. Okay? Now, the exchange rate moves in two directions. Either the exchange rate will appreciate against the rest of the world or it will depreciate against the rest of the world. So those are the two situations that we need to look at in more detail that what happens when the currency depreciates against the rest of the world or against any one particular currency or what happens when the currency appreciates against the rest of the world or against one currency. Now when we talk about depreciation, let me give you an example. Let's say that today is the 1st of January and today if we trade in one pound we get 1.26 dollars. That means, let's say a can of Coke in the US is a dollar fifty cents. So I know that I can only get one point two six for one pound. So I'm going to have to give a little over one pound to get an equivalent of one point five zero. And so that's currently the situation. Now, if a month later I figure find out that the one pound that I was giving up is now worth one dollar then my currency is depreciated because now when I pay my one pound, I only get one dollar, then I'll have to put in half a pound more in order to get one dollar and fifty. So in this situation, we're clearly seeing that with the same pound, you can afford less. You could buy a dollar twenty-six worth of stuff, but now you only buy one dollar worth of stuff. That is the currency depreciation. Depreciation, on the other hand, is different. Here again, we start with the situation where the 1st of January, you have a pound and you can get a dollar and 26 cents for it. On the 1st of February, the pound has actually done quite well and it is now equivalent to a dollar 50. Now, if I know that a can of Coke is a dollar 50 in US, then I only pay one pound and equivalently, I would get that 150 or a can of Coke. So I know now that I only need to pay the one pound for that amount. So my currency, if I was in the UK, has appreciated because now I can buy more. Initially, a month later, earlier, I could only buy stuff worth dollar twenty-six, but now with the same money, I buy stuff for dollar one fifty. That is called currency appreciation. Now, why are we looking at these situations? These situations are important when countries' businesses are involved in the imports and exports of goods and services. And that's critical. These, uh, this concept of exchange rate will only be applicable 
if a business is participating in import or export of products. So let's look at both of these situations individually in a little more detail now and figure out what kind of businesses suffer as a result of is, uh, appreciation or depreciation and which businesses benefit from it.